Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding out what happens if Arthur decides to linger a little bit too long in Dutch and John's room at all the various campsites in game. So I'm sure you guys have picked up on this over time, but as Miss Grimshaw and the other gang members set up camp, uh, the rooms are essentially divided by a hierarchy. Uh, Dutch always has a room to himself or like the biggest room of the bunch that he might share with Molly. Uh, and then Arthur sort of gets the second biggest room. So he has one by himself. And then due to John's family, so because he has to live with Abigail and Jack, he always gets like a pretty big room to himself as well. And then the rest of the other gang members are usually just divided out in either small little parcels or tents. Even someone like Hosea, a senior member, sort of like sleeps on his own outside. So primarily outside of Arthur, the only other two people that have like designated rooms or closed off areas is going to be Dutch and John. And it turns out that just like in real life, these two characters aren't a big fan of people just hanging out in their room unnecessarily. So for the most part, you will find gang members in their room either in the very early morning time or during the night. Usually throughout the day and throughout the evening, they'll be out and about in the camp. So you won't be able to try this, but during the early morning and nighttime, this is where you can attempt something like this. Now, keep in mind, if there is a mission available for John Marston or a mission available for Dutch or anyone for that matter, they won't be at camp. They're going to be at like the, the mission blip objective. So if you do want to try this for yourself, that's just something to keep in mind. So we are in chapter four right now. And what I'm going to do next is sort of show you guys a little montage of what happens if you decide to go in both Dutch and John's room. We'll start with John and then we'll move over to Dutch. Can I be left alone? She'll be all right. We gotta find him, Arthur. Don't worry, we will. All right, this ain't funny now. Get out. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I suppose. What the heck are you doing in here? Get some peace here. I ain't really in the mood for company. No, come on, get out of here. Going through my stuff, Arthur? You're acting strange. Just get out of here. Need some space, if you don't mind. What game are you playing here? Oh, what now? Well, see you then. Oh, it's you. Sometimes. All right, this ain't funny now. Get out. Yep. What are you doing in here? Can I get some peace here? Okay, so that was pretty funny. John was none too pleased about us hanging around in his room. And I can understand why. I mean, obviously, Abigail is just uh, sleeping in there. It's a little bit awkward for Arthur to just be like peering over her. Uh, so I wanted to try the same thing with Dutch. So what I did is I ended up going to Dutch's room and I just found like Molly sleeping and that was kind of awkward too. So she was there, but Dutch was nowhere to be found. So I think the reason for that was is I had a mission where even though it technically didn't involve Dutch at the start, he would like appear in the mission. So he wasn't there. So that's why I'm saying that some missions like won't allow you to do this because the characters won't actually appear in camp. But what I did after this is I wanted to see if the same thing would happen to Hosea because 
even though Hosea technically doesn't have like his own room, he is separated from the rest of everyone else. Uh, he's in like a little storage closet downstairs. So I went in his room, and even though he was bothered by the fact that I was waking him up in the middle of the night, he did not have the same reaction as John. So now that you've seen that, let's actually take a look at what happens if you decide to do this in Dutch's room at Shady Bell in Chapter 4. This footage is actually coming from IndoJ. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Uh, he tried this experiment as well, and he got some pretty funny results. Yes, Arthur? Hi, Dutch. What is it now? Another day, another dollar. Yes, indeed. Hey, you shouldn't be in here. Go on, get out of here. Stop acting strange. What is it, Arthur? Well, we're still here. That's something. Okay. What are you doing back here? What are you doing in here? Could I get some privacy here, please? What brings you in here? No, that's enough. Get out of here. Hey, don't be poking around in here. Oh, sorry, Dutch. If there's nothing you need, will you get out of here? What is it, Arthur? So it turns out Dutch gets equally as mad if you decide to stay in his room. And what was interesting about that encounter is... It wasn't even like during the night. It was just like during the day. Dutch was just sort of like leaning over, checking something. I mean, Arthur is his right-hand man for over 20 years. And he kicks him out of his room for being in there for like less than 10 seconds. It seems a little bit of a strange mechanic to me. That's for sure. But uh, either way, I, I still thought that was really, really funny. Now, I also wanted to try this again when Jack returned to the gang. Maybe the reason John was kicking us out of his room was because, uh, you know, his son was missing, so he was irritable. Well, what would happen if Jack was back and we decided to do the same thing? Would John still kick us out of his room? Let's find out. Oh, what do you want? You awake yet? What's the problem, Arthur? What game are you playing here? You going to get up? Christ sake, You hassling what? me even when I'm asleep now? What are you doing in here? I need some sleep. Can I get some peace here? So yes, it does look as if that when Jack Marston returns, John is still not in a great mood and uh, he ends up kicking them out of the room. Now, what I find strange is that at least in Shady Bell, John's room consists of a, a bed very much capable of sleeping two people and then two sleeping bags on the floor. Why do John and Abigail not sleep in the same bed? Is it like a mechanic thing? Is it like a glitch? I don't know. It just seems a little bit strange that John would choose the sleeping bag on the floor over the nice big comfy bed that only Abigail is using. So I just find that to be kind of strange. Maybe that's an oversight from Rockstar. I'm really not too sure. Now, chapter four is not the only time in which this occurs. I'm almost confident that this happens in every other chapter, chapters uh, three, six, and even the first one, chapter two. In fact, I know for a fact this happens at chapter two because I tested this with Dutch and John as well. Hey there, Jack. What is it, Arthur? Girls ain't happy. Let me tell you that for nothing. Not happy at all. <laughs> Don't know why. What is it now? Well, that's not true. I do know why. They're lazy, good for nothing brats. Every last what one are of you them, doing in here? With ideas miles above their station. I mean, in my if there's day, nothing you need, we can get out of here. Back to a madam. Oh, it's you.
What game are you playing here? Hey, you shouldn't be in here. Can I get some peace here? So in both of those chapters, John and Dutch will kick us out of their tents. So I don't know why these two characters got special provisions as far as Arthur being in close proximity with them. It does seem as if it's a weird thing that Rockstar added to the game. I guess they're just trying to keep things realistic. Because if you think about it, I wouldn't want someone to be in my room if I was, you know, trying to sleep or if I was doing something. It just feels kind of awkward. So maybe this is Rockstar's way of keeping Arthur less awkward or allowing the characters to try and live normal lives, especially at night in the morning when they're sleeping and waking up. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you tried an experiment like this in Red Dead Redemption 2? And do you know if there's any alternatives to the experiment? Like, will a different reaction occur if you do something inside of the tent? Uh, I'd love for you guys to try this experiment for yourself. And let me know how it goes in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.